Thank you for joining us on this very joyous occasion to see these students off on their next great adventure. I am Stephanie Taylor, principal at Virgins Union High School, and this is our virtual graduation ceremony celebrating the accomplishments of the class of 2020. These students demonstrated resilience, perseverance, and optimism in the midst of extraordinary upheaval. I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to commemorate them in this way. Oh, It's my pleasure to introduce Sheila Sowell, Superintendent of Schools, to welcome you to the commencement ceremony of the Class of 2020. Welcome to the Virgins Union High School Virtual Graduation Celebration 2020. I'm Sheila Soul, Superintendent of Schools for the Addison Northwest School District. I would like to welcome the family, friends, teachers, and most importantly, the graduates of the Class of 2020. While everyone recognizes this is not the graduation celebration you pictured, it is no less an important a milestone and we congratulate you on your achievements. While you have persevered through many challenges and disappointments in the last few months, you have also made your mark in history as the first and hopefully the last class to graduate under such circumstances. While it is probably a distinction you would gladly trade for an ordinary spring of senior year, I hope it will always remind you that the best laid plans can sometimes go off track and you must always find the silver lining in every situation you find yourself in. Everyone in the Addison Northwest and broader community wishes you all the best as you continue your journey. Congratulations, graduates. We are very proud of you. Thank you, Sheila. Salutatorian Sophie Hatch will give the welcoming address. Hello everyone, my name is Sophie Hatch and I'm here today to welcome you to the class of 2020 graduation. Although unconventional, this will be a graduation to remember. Before I continue, I would like to say a few thank yous. I first want to thank all the essential workers who have been helping during this time. To everyone else, I hope you have been able to stay home and stay safe. Next, I want to thank every parent, teacher, friend, and community member that has helped the class of 2020 grow into who we are today. Thank you for caring for us, nurturing our learning, and supporting us through our many journeys. You are the reason why we are here today. And now, I want to say congratulations to each and every one of my classmates. The VUHS graduating class of 2020 has officially made it. From the first day of seventh grade, as we entered the high school building with eyes full of excitement, to our last days of high school with an unbearable anticipation to finally graduate, we have experienced and accomplished so much together. As a class, we biked all the way to Kingsland Bay, traveled to Boston to spend the night on a battleship. We had the winning float in our ninth grade homecoming parade, planned a walk for student voice, became champions on the track and the lacrosse field, made the state championship for baseball and for soccer, 
won countless rowing races, planned an awesome junior prom, walked 13 miles raising $8,000 for a local nonprofit, and now we can say we graduated. Although our last few months of high school were not what we were hoping for, we grew strong together as a class over these past few months. If we can tackle all the challenges that have been thrown at us throughout high school, the world better be ready because we can accomplish anything we put our minds to. I wish all of you success as we pursue our dreams outside the VUHS walls. I can't wait to see what the class of 20 to 20 achieves, achieves now that we have the chance to fly free. Congratulations again and welcome to the virtual graduation for the class of 2020. Next, we'll hear from Kai Williams, the class of 2020 valedictorian. In a hundred years, much will be said about the time we are living in now. The future will talk of the lives lost and the sacrifices made, the missteps taken and the workers struggling to get by. The effects of social distancing will be studied and the economic impacts analyzed, but we will also talk of communities coming together. We will talk of gr drive-by graduations and healthcare salutes, of protests, donations, and generosity. Yet most of all, I hope that the year 2120 will remember COVID-19 for how it has taught us about change. In mid-March, everything seemed to balance on a pinhead. In 10 days, the world closed. But that was the product of months of rumbling in the distance. And therein lies the double nature of change. Change is a fire. It starts weak, but when it catches, it grows. Our society faces other grave threats. Global warming, the neglect of rural areas, systemic oppression, the list goes on. Temperatures rise, yet we don't act. Vermont's population dwindles, yet we feel powerless. People die in the streets, yet we struggle to hold a frank conversation about race. We are still in the early march of this threat. But we are, in other words, right before the lockdown. Making the leap for any of these issues won't be easy. We don't know what it'll take for the world to invest in action, but we do know who will lead the response. Us. It's a well-worn line that the graduating class will be the ones to change the world, but now it isn't a cliche. It's a necessity. When we think of change, we often think of the great events of history, the March on Washington, the fall of the Berlin Wall, the Civil War, our current protests, but just as important are the small individual contributions we all make. I see in our own community these sparks of change. I see students sleeping out for the homeless, others giving hundreds of hours to help the elderly, teachers inspiring us to love learning. Not all of these sparks will catch, but those that do will drive us forward. In this age of social media, there's a natural desire to be the, at the head of the movement, to be the one who started it all. But just as important are those who followed behind, who chose to support change. Remember, change is always a choice, whether or not you're the first. Class of 2020, as we move on through life, we must thank the teachers, parents, and community members who have lit the match inside of us but never forget our collective responsibility to make our world a better place. Thank you. Please welcome Emily Rooney, president of the class of 2020 to introduce our guest speaker. When the class of 2020 was generating ideas for our graduation speaker, a few names floated around. We were searching for someone who made an impact on our class and presented the qualities our class values. While it may seem crazy to some, we couldn't think of anyone better than Ed Cook. Ed Cook attended the University of Vermont for his undergraduate degree in physical education and for his master's, master's in educational leadership. He used to be a health and physical education teacher at Virgens until he became vice principal in 2018, which he continues to work as today. Mr. Cook has been at VUHS for over 20 years not only is he a role model and demonstrates hard work, but he is secretly very caring and compassionate to all students. Mr. Cook has been a resource and a mentor for many students, including myself, all when we were struggling. He would always either listen and cry with you or tell you a good joke. 
Mr. Cook is a class advisor to the class of 2020 who he has helped grow since our freshman year. He also has the best morning meeting ever. His words, not mine. It is with great pleasure now that I welcome Ed Cook to the stage to give the graduation address for the class of 2020. Welcome parents, families, Superintendent Soul, Principal Taylor, board members, faculty, staff, and most importantly, the class of 2020. Here we are, sort of. I'm here, you're watching this somewhere comfortable, with your feet up with other people at a good social distance. This class is pretty amazing. We have actors, musicians, artists, bakers, I'm still waiting on my cupcakes, athletes, health workers, emergency workers, college students, mechanics, Grady, I'm gonna need a recommendation for a new go-kart repairman or woman, farmers and many other talented people. But the best thing about this class is that you're all just one group. I'm sure that you can look at each one of your fellow graduates and remember some type of conversation or interaction that you've had with them. We're all just one big VUHS family. Let's take a trip back to 2014. You came in as wide-eyed seventh graders. You were coming from three different schools, super awkward middle school students that had no idea who you were or where you were going. You were just happy to wear hats, chew gum in class, and meet new people. Let's be honest, by the time you got through sixth grade, you were tired of most of the, being with most of the same people since kindergarten. Flash forward to August 2019, the start of your senior year. You're older, some of you know who you are, and the awkwardness has decreased a bit. More importantly, there's an end in sight. We know this isn't the end that you envisioned, but, but it'll make a good story for your kids, and it'll be something to reminisce about at your reunions. This class was well placed to make it through the school closure and distance learning. You are all way more tech savvy than your teachers and your level of resilience and independence is outstanding. The goal setting, time management, and independence that you've had to master in these last three months has set you up for your future. You're more prepared to go out into the real world than many of the classes that we've seen come through this school. I've been a part of Virgen's Union High School for 22 years. I started here in 1997 as a fresh-faced 25-year-old. I was happy to have a job, but there was no way I was gonna stay at Virgen's forever. When I started, there were several teachers here that had been here for many, many years. To name a few, mostly for your parents and some of your grandparents, Ann Sullivan, John Yarnell, Daryl Hatch, Lee Francis, Roland Guyette, Lee Shorey, and many more that I could list. I couldn't figure out why these people had stayed their whole careers at Bridgens. I figured I would be here for a few years, then move on to bigger and better things. Well, life happens. It just so happened there was another PE teacher that started that same year. She was tall, athletic, beautiful. We fell in love, married, and started a family. Fast forward to four kids and 22 years later, here I am still. Oh, and by the way, so is she. I switched jobs, had to buy a new wardrobe, pants, shirt, and tie every day for me, and I switched offices. Um, but the school is still the same. The students are still amazing. The faculty and staff are caring and supporting, and the community is outstanding. Now I get why those educators I mentioned earlier spent their careers here. VUHS became their home. The community, their backyard, and the people here, their neighbors. When I walked in on that first day of in-service in 1997, I was a young man that didn't quite know where I was going, who I was gonna become, or how I was gonna get there. Very similar to all of you when you entered this building in 2014. I've grown up here. This place is my home. These people are my family, and I wouldn't be anywhere else. Merriam-Webster defines home as a social unit formed by a family living together. VOHS has been that social unit for all of you for the past six years. When you think back on your six years here, I hope you remember the classes, the teachers, maybe Mr. Wyckoff, Simon Says Breaks, games, musicals, talks in the cafeteria, bus trips, arguments, debates, and all the other social situations that families go through. Some days this place can drive you crazy, but I believe that by being away from school and each other during this time, it shows you how special VOHS is. I've spoken to a couple of students who miss school. These are the same students that chafe at the rules and structure of the school day. 
but they've come to realize how special VHS, VHS is. VHS is a place that is accepting and is always looking for a way to help each other and the community. We're the first school in the state to hold a Peace One Day event that's still going strong. Our senior walkathon has raised nearly $100,000 over the, over the years for local charities. I don't believe any other school in the state is doing or has done anything like this. This class has been important. This class has been an important part of integrating the values of VOHS into the student body. We rally around each other and the community. We raised over $7,000 for Women's Safe that went towards building a temporary housing for victims of domestic violence. When you were juniors, you decided to do away with the prom king and queen and crown two people beloved monarchs. You decided to do this to make sure that all of our students felt included and safe. When you look back at your years here, I hope you reflect on how special this, this place is. Every home has rules and someone to see when those rules are bent or broken. At, at Virgen's, that person is, uh, is Lee Shorey and she lives in RRC. Now, I have to believe when I mention Lee Shorey, that you remember the way she would hold you accountable with love and understanding. Also, how she would make you look at the big picture and examine how your actions impact the community. All of you have sat through a restorative circle or two with Lee over the years. The culture of UHS teaches us to look out for the group and how we can leave the community a better place after we depart. When you leave UHS and are faced with a difficult situation, make sure that you ask yourself, what can I do to make this better? What can I do to help this person or community? And most importantly, ask yourself, what would Lee Shorey do? The answers to these questions are the heart of what VOHS and you are about. VOHS as your home for the past six years has taught you the value of community and how important it is to help others. My challenge to you is to take this culture with you and spread the ideals of, v of Virginia Union High School to the world. After graduation, you will face challenges bigger than any of us can imagine. But even if you are far away, you can always find home again in your hearts and your memories. Virgenz is your home. The faculty and staff are part of your family. We send you on your way with joy and happiness, knowing that you will go out and do your part to represent VUHS. But we're always here for you to return for a visit and to recharge your Commodore battery. When you come back, I'll be at the front door to welcome you. If you need to talk, most of you have my cell phone number. Just call. I would love to hear about your adventures in the world. Good luck in all your endeavors, class of 2020. You're a special class and you're gonna go on to do great things. Congratulations one more time and don't forget about us. And finally, to quote the American philosopher Tom Bodet, we'll leave the light on for you. Thank you. It is my greatest honor to present to you the graduates of the class of 2020. Grace Lillian Ashley. Claire Therese Austin. Colby Sean Bienauer, Luke Weston Bergmans, William Bergmans, Robert Casey Bicknow, Brianna Billings, Abigail Bluto, Kyle Alon Busca, Henry McLeod Boylan, Emily Brinkman, Ian Edward Bronze, Adelaide Catherine Brooks, Eleni Marie Brouillard, Kaylee Ann Campbell, Sky Little Chamberlain, Mitchell Warren Clark, Zeke Gregory Clark, Trudy Ann Cosgrove, Leah Croak, Benjamin Curtis, Delilah Cushman, Michael Thomas Davis, Matthew DeMatties, Maylee Eliza Desitel, Grady Devoid, Nathan DeVos, Alder Malkali Donovan, Siobhan Egan, 
Diego Nicolas Estrella, Simon Farrell, Matthew Forbes, Heather French, Aidan Gardner, Gavin Robert Grady, Jackson Hall Hamline, Sophie Amelia Hatch, Seamus North Hayes, Kyla Heyer, Marley Elizabeth Hunt, Kevin Jackson, Peyton Lee Jones, Rebecca Lynn Kachmar, Karen Narissa Kenfield, Robert Kenfield, Amber Nicole Crumry, Gage Lalumiere, Jonathan Winston Lapel, Grace Lebeau, Alexis Denise McKinnon, Janae Marshall, Justin Alexander McEntee, Rory Patch, McKenna Grace Phillips, Maya Nadezada Promsma, Julio Ismael Quillas, Eric Wrights, Emily Elizabeth Dabrowski Rooney, Riley Morgan Ruthier Beecher, Josius Salomo, Aidan Scott, Clement Kofi Simpson, Jeffrey Stearns, Jason Treo, Robert Beenan Verberg, Xander Eli Wilderson, Kai Thomas Williams, Catherine Lydia Wyckoff. Now we'll hear the Commodore Singers Concert Choir perform I Will Sing You the Stars, directed by Kaylin O'Hara for Jen's Union High School Choral Director. Says you must. 
Emily Rooney, Virgin's Union High School Third Honors recipient, will issue the challenge of, to the class of 2021. Welcome again to the virtual graduation of the class of 2020. This is a graduation ceremony like no other, one that fits perfectly for this class. A class full of athletes, musicians, FFA members, actors, merit scholars, old souls, artists, and mechanics all of us with big dreams. But as our time comes to an end at VHS, we hope to inspire the next class. I am speaking to you today through whatever screen to propose a challenge to the class of 2021. These last four months have been a once in a lifetime challenge. Each of us has lost time to the COVID-19 pandemic. Moments with your high school friends, one more class with your favorite teacher, one more game, one more practice, and events you've been thinking about for years, all gone. So, class of 2021, what can I not challenge you to do? I could challenge you to enjoy your senior year. I could challenge you to reinvent how you think about life. I could challenge you to cherish the people in your community. I could write a book full of challenges I could propose. However, I think myself and every other graduate could tell you till the cows to come home, not to take any moments for granted. But if these last four months haven't taught you this already, then I don't think I can. Instead, class of 2021, I challenge you to not be silent. You may wonder, not to be silent? In my last four years at VHS, I have learned things I could have never imagined. I found friends, peers, and mentors who have helped me grow. As my final year came to an end at VOHS, I realized something that I had wished I had learned many years before. A group was created called Racial Social Justice Alliance, and quickly it became the most exciting part of my day. Constantly, Carly and Angela pushed us to keep educating ourselves and to fight for change. I also have been a part of an amazing officer group for the last four years that for a second time is all female. Together, we organized our walkathon that raised $8,000 for Women Safe. Through these amazing experiences, I realized how important my voice is. To be silent is the worst thing I can do. Our voices are the most valuable tool we have. I have felt powerless to the decisions of people who have, made, who have more power than me, but I can take back some of that power by using my First Amendment right to stand up and call out the injustices that happen to myself and others. We are taught about monumental leaders in history, but in order to become leaders, we must educate ourselves. Knowledge is power, and we must use our knowledge and voices to innovate the broken systems we live in. Communities stem from their schools, and Virgins takes pride in VUHS. From teachers and coaches who show us the greatest form of service, to the peers who push us to never stop questioning. Many of us have been together for at least four years and know firsthand how important our school is. However, we also know firsthand what needs to change. From climate change to COVID-19 to systemic racism, America is at a turning point. It is not enough anymore to have good intentions. It is not enough to hope everything works out in the end. As students, it is essential to speak up and become confident, active members in society. My fellow seniors, we have seen a wide variety of calls for change in our high school careers. From the sit-in following the Parkland shooting to the walkout for student voice, the drive for change is not foreign. But is it enough? To each of you sitting here today, and especially to the class of 2021, when will you decide to take a stand? Soon you too will be sitting here surrounded by your fellow classmates being sent off into the world. But what does that world look like? What do you want the world to look like? This may see, seem to be a monumental fear for some and provoke the idea, 
What can I really do? But look around you. We live in a town that is one square mile. The feeling of community stems right from VUHS. However, Virgens is not immune to the problems our world faces. And just like how transformation can begin in one small Vermont town, the realization and growth of one person using their voice can echo a call that many will follow. Each graduate, each rising senior, each parent, teacher, and all listeners, I challenge you to reflect on how you use your voice and how you don't. In what areas of your life do you fall silent? I encourage you to think beyond your life experiences and think of the struggles your neighbor, your teammate, your cousin, your coworker, or even a stranger on the street may experience every day and use your voice for them. Continue to always be hungry for knowledge. And like Pakistani activist Malala said, when the whole world is silent, even one voice becomes powerful. So to the class of 2021, I ask you, how will you use your voice? And now the moment these students have been waiting 13 years and what seems like the longest school year ever for. Seniors, please slide your tassels from the right side to the left side. Emily Rooney, Addie Brooks, and Kai Williams will perform Nobody Knows by the Lumineers. Nobody knows how to say goodbye. Seems so easy till you try Then the moments passed you by Nobody knows how to say goodbye Nobody knows how the story ends. 
Nobody knows how the story ends.